Hey y'all, quick little video. I, I'm not the one to judge nobody or judge anybody's situation or whatever the case may be, but I never really understood why people take other people for granted. It could be family members, it could be your kids, it could be your spouse, your boyfriend, your best friend, anybody. If anybody has ever helped you when you were down, no matter how long you were down, no matter how long it took them to help you or get you straight or anything like that. If you've ever been down, you could be, you know, not, let's see, what's an example? Um, you could have a car payment due and you only got half of it. And you hit this family member up and say, oh, well, I only have half of my car payment. It's due on the 15th. Like, you know, can you spot me half of it? And whenever I get it back, you know, I'll give it to you. That family member could say, yeah. But it don't. the family member don't give it to you until maybe the 20th. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter when they gave it to you as long as they gave it to you. Who you know out here giving half of car payments? No matter how much your car payment is, like, I just, I don't understand why people take family members for granted. Because if somebody helped you out, they didn't have to. Like, family will help you out more than your friends will. And vice versa. Sometimes your friends will help you out more than your family do. But, but, that does not give you the right to go on social media and blast your family like you on social media talking junk about your family but when somebody else do it oh you ready to fight oh you ready to do this oh don't nobody can't nobody talk about my family and all this other stuff but people are only doing what they see you doing if they see that it's okay for you to bash your family okay then why can't i you talk about them why I can't talk about them? Like, I, I just don't understand why people always take family problems or always take, like, their business to social media and then wonder why everybody is always in your business. Wonder why you always the topic of discussion. Wonder why every time somebody see you or your name come up, oh, yeah, I know she got this going on. She doing this. She got that. Well, dang, you want to know why? Because every time something go on, you always posting on social media. Like, you, if you and a person and your family getting into an argument, bro, you don't even text them back. You go straight to Facebook. Oh, this be this, that, that. She don't want to help me. Oh, family ain't nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Got more friends that'll help me than family. We don't got to be blood to be called family and all this other stuff. Okay. You did all of that for what? Likes? Now people looking at your family crazy. And now every time you get on Facebook talking about your family, people just agree with it. Your friends agree with it. You want your friends talking about your family? No, but they do. Do you not know that your other friends may be talking about you, how you talk about your family? Like, I didn't, I didn't think it was okay for you to get up there on social media and talk about your family. Like, I feel like there's certain boundaries and certain rules that you do not cross when it comes to your family and when it also comes to social media. Like, everything that goes on in your family should not go on on social media. You should never argue back and forth with nobody, a sister, a brother, an aunt, or a cousin on social media because you're putting the world in your business. Like, you may have 1,500 um, friends on Facebook. Your aunt may have 3,000. Like, y'all done put all them people in y'all business for what? For what? You know why you put them in your business? Because you're stupid, pretty much. Like, I just, I never was the person to put like family business on social media like I just don't I don't see what you get out of it like I may have threw like some shots but you would have never known it was at a family member you probably thought it was at somebody like a girl or something like that you never knew it was about a family member because 
I would never say, oh, my mama didn't do this, so now I don't F with my mama, or my aunt didn't do this, family ain't, family ain't shit, family ain't whatever, whatever, whatever. Bro, at the end of the day, when you die, who gonna bury you? Your friends? No! <laughs> Stop talking about your family on social media. Like, why talk about the people that you need the most? Like, whenever you need something, whenever you need a meal, whenever you need somewhere to stay, whenever you need some money, whenever you need somebody to sign this or sign that or reference for this, who you call? Your family. It may be your mama, maybe your daddy, maybe your sister, your brother, your aunt, your grandma, whatever. I guarantee you, if you went to a car, a car lot and you needed somebody to co-sign for you, you ain't gonna call your homegirl because your homegirl credit ain't where it's at apparently yours ain't either because you need a co-signer and for three you think your friend gonna co-sign for you for a car mm. no because she probably had to get a co-signer for her car and then who co-signed for that for her her mama you're gonna always need family boo you're gonna always need your family no matter what it is because as soon as soon as you get sick matter of fact if you don't need your family, if you don't need like your immediate family, when you fill out these job applications or whatever application you got to fill out, when it's an emergency contact, put your friend down. And when you get sick on your job, that's who they're going to have to call. You think they're going to uh, come and get you? No. You think they're going to make uh, good uh, decisions if you land on your uh, deathbed? No. You think when it's time for you to get buried that your friend's going to uh, be sitting up there at the funeral home and putting all your stuff together? Mm-mm. Because you want to know where your friend's at? Out getting t-shirts made with your uh, with your face on there and posting on Facebook. Oh, I wish she was here and all this other stuff and blah, blah, blah. They're not going to do the real work for you. Your friends ain't going to do the real work for you. Maybe, wait, I'll take that back. Some, some will. Some wills, quite few people in this world that will. Sorry, y'all, my video stopped. But it's some, it's a small bit of people in this world that's a friend that you can consider a family member. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. I just thought um, that I'll share that with y'all. Like, stop, stop playing your family on Facebook because not even Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter tiktok lollipop whatever stop playing your family to your friends stop playing your family to your family stop playing your family on social media period because you you're not the only one that's you making your family look bad but you also look bad too because you out here talking about your family when at the end of the day family is all you got it don't have to be blood family is all you got just remember when you go fill out an application since your family since you can't depend most of you say you can't depend on your family or you talk all this junk on facebook about your family when it gets time to that part where you have to put um emergency contact think about it then think about who you can put down then Mama.